anybody out there? No. I don't remember what freaking song I'm supposed to be playing. Good morning. I apologize uh, between being sick, especially yesterday, and uh, scheduling this event. I thought I set it for 9 o'clock Central, and I guess I put 8 o'clock. So I apologize for being there early. Well, this thing has really been kicking me, so uh, let's see. I'm still trying to figure out what song I'm supposed to be playing. Uh, oh, there it is. We'll start this thing after this song. think I set this at 9 o'clock, and it looks like I set it for 8 o'clock. My uh, apologies for everybody that uh, stood up early. Boy, talking about uh, getting a double check last night when I made these streams. I won't stop. I'm here to get what I want. I'm not lost. I'm here to make it to the top. I'll take a shot. I'll overpower any boss. Cause I am not. Let's go. That you would want to cross. I move quietly like a shadow. There's a dark side to me. I work privately to go build and create my own. All right. All right. I'm back. I'm back. <coughs> Man, I'm really getting tired of this freaking pollen. Started out with, uh, let's see, oh, yeah. Started out with all this pollen, ended up getting a sinus infection, and then, uh, yeah, I got sick. And, man, talk about dosing myself with freaking tea, honey, and everything else yesterday. So, but I'm back, I guess. Apologize to the early morning ones that uh, showed up and weren't, I wasn't here. Um, let's say it is, uh, hey, hey, look, 21st day of March. Man, we're past the halfway mark on here. So good morning. It is currently 56, mostly cloudy. going to be raining all freaking day. Woohoo. So uh, let's see. Good morning, uh, B. Charming and Pat Evans. Yep, the weather's going to be really, really uh, different this week. California, get ready. We can get rain, snow, northwest, Montana area. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's today or tomorrow. I can't remember what she's going to get. She should be getting snow. I think it's today. She's going to be getting some snow. So, yeah, just when you thought spring was here. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, good morning, Dennis. Apologies, you were here earlier, and uh, like I said earlier, uh, 
Yeah, I thought I set up for nine, and apparently I didn't double check last night when I made these streams. And uh, yeah, <sighs> it was set for eight o'clock. So apologies. Yes, and be happy birthday to your daughter. Happy birthday to you. I'm not calling you from the zoo. I don't even remember the, the words on it, so uh, yeah, that's how bad it is this morning for me. But hey, uh, first and foremost, going to throw everything I had for formatted this morning out the window. Uh, they're calling out for uh, U.S. mobile phone services could go down during the upcoming uh, total solar eclipse. So uh, everybody with phone service be ready to lose your phone service, possibly, because the Solar eclipse. Hmm. Do they know something we don't? I know they're saying that um, Iran and their uh, little uh, capable people are going to hack our water systems and all that. And now the phone system during the eclipse. What else are they going to blame in the eclipse? Nope. And it's not even here yet. And they're already talking about, you know, start blaming everything on them. Yeah, gas prices are going to go through the roof because the eclipse, you know. One thing to, to, that you will have to expect, especially if you, uh, towards the path of the eclipse itself, is that temperature difference. The moment uh, it starts going in darkness, uh, the temperature will drop, but uh, we'll uh, currently uh, pick up a few uh, minutes into the eclipse, uh, I'll start warming up again because, you know, the great temperatures, it goes dark and all that. Precautions, though, also, if you're going to be doing that, wear your glasses ahead of time. I would cover when your eyes are going to be out trying to see the stuff, especially with those specialized glasses, because once it goes total, it will be messing with your night vision. And most of y'all should know that that night vision takes anywhere from 20, 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust from daylight into night. This is going to happen in a moment of minutes, and your vision is going to be all jacked up. It's going to be hard to see colors red, but you will be able to enhance to see the colors green. So, uh, yeah, whatever you wear, you may want to wear uh, a lot more green that night. Don't be near the roads and stuff because people are going to, you know, not be paying attention. They may not look, be looking up at the sky, but they may not see you because they don't remember that the night vision is all jacked up. So, you know, so me, I'm just going to stay inside. I watch it on TV. Ain't no big thing. The last one was the same thing. I had my kitchen window open. I went over there and I just saw how, uh, my backyard got dark and then it got light again. wasn't It wasn't a, a total; it was a partial. But you can still see by looking at the ground. I'm like, yeah, no big deal. So, uh, damn, Dennis, one point nine eight nine a liter, a liter. Holy crap! Oh, uh, Lee Charmers having lemon meringue pie. I had that last week. Mmm, it was so good. Adam says, talk about stopping disability checks. Uh, I heard rumors about it a couple of weeks ago, but I don't think they're going to do that. This is going to be kind of hard to do that because, you know, if they stop disability checks, think about it. Then they got to stop. They're going to have to stop paying uh, half of Congress. Dun, dun, dun. Because they're all mentally disabled anyway. So. Now, I don't know. Are you talking about the federal one? Most likely because the states, they do their own thing differently. But, uh, yeah. It'd be kind of hard to stop the disability checks. They may be talking about it with the. Uh, the possible shutdown, because I guess they're still battling on the budget thing. And, of course, our thing and everything gets blamed on the, the Republicans slash conservatives because we don't agree with half the stuff. But, you know, I know I passed the House, went to the Senate, and I haven't heard nothing else besides we may shut down. Well, you know, I, 
Either way or another, they're not working for us anyway, so what does it really matter? Um, hold on, there it is. I was trying to wait for the story to come. One of the few remaining Pearl Harbor survivors has died at 102. There ain't many Pearl Harbor survivors left, and, you know, salute to uh, the individual. He hung out as long as he could. Thank you for your service, sir. And, uh, yeah, I had an uncle that passed away at Pearl Harbor. He's still there, so. Two things I want to do is go uh, deep sea fishing with my son's memory of my dad, because he always wanted to do that. We never got a chance to. And the second one, go to Pearl Harbor with my son so they can see the memorial where their uncle's at. So uh, this summer we're doing one of them and uh, don't know we're going to do the Pearl Harbor one. So let's see. Uh, what I'm seeing uh, lawmakers released tax of a $1.2 trillion spending bill. Yeah, so they're still working on it. So who knows on that one. We're overdue for a freaking government shutdown in a way they don't want to work. I mean, they'd rather do investigations on, you know, why the hell did uh, Donald Trump jaywalk when he was three, you know, instead of freaking fix things in this country, so... Okay, a couple of things. Uh, Russian military has been hit by mass desertions. You don't hear that very often, but yeah, a lot of a lot of them are leaving. They're tired of the crap. They don't see the reason why, and that's why they're not going in mass to Ukraine anymore. They backed off, but they did freaking launch a lot of freaking missiles at uh, Kiev yesterday. No notice after like 40, 44 days of not attacking. So, yeah, I think Putin needed to take those 30, 40 days off to go on the campaign trail to uh, do his election thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Where's that other story? The streamer stopped moving because. Okay, they're saying filming your front porch without a warrant is now fair game for the feds. So they can sit, put a correct camera across, and uh, watch who comes in and out of your house. And they don't need a warrant. Yeah. Come on. And Telegraph is reporting Putin is now openly planning for war against NATO. Yeah, this guy, when are the people going to realize they need to take him out? Is, uh, yeah. And I reported before, waiting for mainstream media to pick it up. And they could do their own research and all that. But, uh, yeah. Back of the day, Russia signed agreements with uh, Hitler when they attacked Poland and all that. And uh, so that basically makes uh, Russia an ally of Hitler when he was going against the Jews. So that makes Russians the Nazis. Hmm. I didn't say a couple of weeks ago when I first reported on it, but uh, yeah, doing the, the deep dive into what they teach at their schools and all that. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they started uh, realizing that, uh, yeah, their history is all fake. Yeah. Russia thinks that uh, Russia saved themselves. They did all the battle and all that in their motherland. Well, they got betrayed by Nazis because they betrayed the Nazis. That's why freaking Germany attacked them because 
Hitler found out that he got betrayed by Russia after their agreement, so uh, yeah, he went after him. Timing was uh, not a factor in that thing because, yeah, he knew it was a winner. He was just so pissed off he wanted revenge on Russia. Do a fact check, find out, and you'll see. And once all these woke up wicked Russians find out, especially the younger ones that are being forced to the military, they go, why do you think they're getting the desertions? Yeah. Dear Putin, you just better put your head back into your butt bunker and uh, yeah, start apologizing now if you want to live. Excuse me. Let's see. Oh, what was it that I heard? Oh, yeah, in Oregon. Supposedly in Oregon, they are starting to tell people that uh, they need to stop uh, having livestock and growing stuff on their property. Yeah, obviously they believe that uh, all private property is not commercial property if you have animals or you're growing, uh, you know, a garden to be self-sufficient. All that is a uh, drain on the climate one way or the other, which I don't understand. But, uh, hey, that's why I'm not a liberal and that's why I don't live in Oregon. Sorry if you feel offended because you live in Oregon, but that's see, that's how it is. That's what's being said, so I'm passing it on. Do your own research, but uh, yeah. And that really explains why half the African state wants to move and become part of Idaho instead, because uh, obviously some people from California left when they moved up to African Oregon. And now they've jacked that all up. So, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, they said, um, let's say it on that too, uh, your well water on your property, or any water on your property is uh, public domain. Yeah, for property owners, yeah. I'd be pissed if I live in Oregon they tried to tell me that. Now, I apologize if I didn't read the Social Security uh, news thing. I know quite a few people get it. I'm still not eligible for it, so. I guess they made some overpayments. Not the first time they did this year. The subtext may be small. Who knows? So, if you haven't heard, uh, yeah, the Fed didn't cut rates. They just left them alone yesterday in the U.S. And, uh, but today, the Bank of England sees the economy moving in the right direction for rate cuts. So, the Bank of England is going to do rate cuts. The U.S., you know, Federal Reserve is not going to do any cuts at all. And uh, Japan's doing everything and another to try to keep their economy up, and nothing is working for them. Hmm. Three different stores for the world economy. What's going to happen? Okay, I don't know about this blinking dude. But he submits a draft to the UN. Resolution for immediate ceasefire. And I guess we're talking about in Gaza. I think everybody just needs to stay out of frickin' Israel's business. Now to remember that Israel was the one that got attacked for the umpteenth time. It was all hunky-dory. If Israel wouldn't have been attacked, they wouldn't have retaliated. They're still retaliating. Leave them alone. Let them do what they need to do. Every time somebody attacks somebody, that's how the U.N. always acts, especially the U.S. They got to get involved. And they got to try to treat everybody like Hitler. But why aren't they treating everybody like, uh, why aren't they treating Putin like Hitler then? No. Hey, Mike B., good morning. 
Lady D, good morning. A B, good morning. Now you keep believing that, A B. Keep cl cl um, clicking your heels on your Ruby trucker shoes. Eventually you'll find out. Heaven says, uh, chilly here, 60. Yep. Not for this time of, this time of year, 60 is not too bad, but, uh, yeah. Now stop snorting it and you won't be thinking about snow then, maybe. You will be a believer. Everyone always is. You can deny it all you want, but eventually you wake up. You're going to be one of those woke ones, A.B. Ready to be woke. So, um, let's see. I was going to battle the VA to go in yesterday, not feeling well, because I already knew what it was. And, yeah, I tried making an appearance a couple of times on YouTube throughout the day. It didn't work so well. Last a few minutes, blah, blah, blah. I even tried to cheer myself up last night. And I did. Thanks to Dennis. I uh, appreciate your brother. You know. <coughs> <coughs> but, uh, man, I hate freaking pollen. Yeah, you keep believing it, A.B., I keep telling you, eventually you'll be hauling rattlesnakes when you want to freaking try to transport something with chicken. So uh, yesterday we added a new addition to the family. And, um, yeah, this new addition um, is a male. And... Um, haven't named him yet, but uh, he does shoot. Uh, he does have projectiles that are three hundred black shot. So uh, yeah. So needless to say, after the weather gets really, really good, and he'll be going out and uh, breaking in this fine new lad into uh, the family. Hell, I might even freaking uh, try to do that in um, during the the eclipse. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we decided to go with one of those because, uh, yeah, a lot of people who don't know about the the rounds, these rounds are pretty good. They'll give it 5.56, uh, run for the money up to 150 yards. Anything after that, yeah, they'll start losing. It's like a projectile or a 203 round, but, uh, yeah, up to 150 rounds, it'll, it'll give a 7.62. It's run for money also. They'll penetrate a lot of things, the bigger, higher rounds. And the way how the U.S. is moving away from a lot of the NATO rounds, that's good news for uh, people that want the 5.56 and the 7.62 rounds. There'll be a lot of them in inventory if they haven't already started filling up the shelves because they're going away from them. And guess what? The military's coming into the 300s for the street. And boy, do they leave a hole. Ooh, yeah, they leave a big old chunky hole. So. Yeah, A.B., look, your story's already changing. Yesterday, it's not even going to get in the 40s. And now today, it's in the next two weeks, we get down to 38. Yep, eight. Keep rubbing those ruby slippers, A.B., because uh, I warned you ahead of time like I normally warn everybody, and then start, shit starts slowly changing, and now, you know, you, you just need to sit down and actually have a private conversation with Shift Kicker. She'll tell you. She was a non-believer, but after a while, every time she get, kept on getting that prick of weather, she's, she's finally a believer now. First time she just contacts me and asks me how the weather's going to be and I have to look at the numbers and all that. Sometimes I tell her, yeah, but it's going to be like this or I'm going to need more time. So, Yep, and everybody's talking about the eclipse too. And I broke a long time ago. Yeah, we're going to have it, blah, blah, blah. 
about the good, the bad, and the ugly, and everybody's trying to talk about it. Oh, now you're up and up to 500, huh? Yeah. Let me know you make it up to 1,000 or more, because, uh, yeah. It'll be snowing in Atlanta. They're going to have ice cubes on their balls. Yeah. Be charming. I used to do sinus flush, but uh, not anymore. Because uh, most of it is just the pollen. And if uh, people have been around for a while, they realize uh, for at least 18 months now, the pollen's been bad. It just won't stop. It doesn't matter with the weather, rain, wind, heat. The pollen has been rampant in Texas. And uh, I laugh and go to the Weather Channel because A.B. tries to say that uh, that's where he gets his accurate weather. We know Jim Cattoli or whatever, fake tap his freaking stuff. He got busted. All those fake videos, like he's in the middle of a hurricane and helping people. So that's why I don't trust the Weather Channel either. And, um, what do you call it? I have to laugh at them. That's one thing they did finally get right, but they're only 18 months late. They're saying, yeah, 2024 is going to be the worst year for pollen. We're going to get two bad freaking, uh, how they put it, two bad seasons of heavy-duty pollen. I'm like, this has been going on for 18 months, dumbasses. Don't you know what they're spraying in the air, too? Yeah, because the Weather Channel and all these meteorologists don't believe in the spraying in the air. So, yeah. Yeah, baby, you may need that thousand. I want to be making bets that uh, you don't realize you're going to need. Especially when the government shuts down, those uh, government contracts for the chicken aren't going to be flowing no more. Everybody's going to be eating rattlesnake because it tastes like chicken. Think about it. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> I got to look for your, uh, what do you call it? Your email, A.B., because I know I saved it. But because I've been sending on it, I moved it somewhere else, so. <coughs> oh. Well, I reported this about a year ago. Now they're really freaking doing it now. Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. For you ladies and gentlemen that do crafts. Yeah, uh, they filed for bankruptcy. I warned you about a year ago on this. So it's going to happen, and now they've done it. And they are going to be closing stores, so if you go there, get ready for the good deals and be ready to have the cash. You can walk in there, buy the stuff really cheap, and get out of there. I don't know if they're going to do anything online or not, because they were talking about shutting down the online before the store, so who knows. Hey, look at that. Now I'm, I sold my house.com's reporting. Oregon starts shutting down small farms to protect the people. Now, now I'm pretty sure in there it says, uh, yeah, if you got a road, gravel road, dirt, or anything else, and it's specialized for your animals, a building like a barn, a pen, a chicken pen, you know, a well, yeah. They're going after all of y'all. They consider all y'all commercial freaking small farms. Oh, look at that. They just added to it because I've been talking about it. And that's why I look at the streams because they listen. I know they do. See, and now they're reporting Alzheimer's may stem from modern lifestyles and new study suggests. Yeah, that's the only way that they're saying it's because they've added all that bullshit crap in our food. Let's look at it. Back in the 50s, 60s, you know, our pe you know, our just, you know, our relatives, you know, they lived till 90, 100 years old. They didn't have Alzheimer's. Now they'd be on the rockers smoking a cigarette, drinking a fifth of whiskey. 
<laughs> they're mentally fit. Uh, move it up at the ears with all the additives they put in the crappy food that they feed us behind our backs, most of them. And uh, yeah, now everybody's got Alzheimer's, dementia, and all this other shit. Modern lifestyles, no. I think it's more, uh, yeah, the proud that they're doing. And I want to know why they keep doing reports on the salary a single person needs to live comfortably in 25 major U.S. cities. Why do they keep doing that? Don't move to the major U.S. cities for one. You know, for two, why are they doing on the single people? All the tax breaks, all the freaking uh, money checks and all that for the federal government are going to people that are married and if you have kids. And especially if you're illegal. <laughs> Man, think about it. Oh, now they're talking about a huge rock band reportedly books Las Vegas Spear for fall residency. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is uh, ACDC is going on tour. They haven't set the U.S. tour dates yet, but they are touring. Uh, let's see who else. Black Crows are uh, touring. Night Rangers got them back together to tour. And uh, a couple of the other 70, 80, 90 bands are uh, getting together and touring. There was one. Oh, Creed. Yeah, Creed's been doing a uh, cruise tour for the last couple of months. And... Uh, some of y'all probably don't know who Creed is. Others do. They started out as a Christian rock band. Went through problems because the lead singer had drug addictions and all the other stuff. But they are considered the number one uh, booked rock or music show on any cruise line now. And in celebration, they're going to do a tour in the U.S. to thank all the people that uh, hung out with them. Mostly it was probably the ladies and uh, hung out on the week-long freaking cruises they're doing. And, uh, you know, if you're a stalker of rock bands, want to be a, a groupie, yeah, I guess you book a cruise and uh, with a rock band you've always wanted to be a groupie with. And eventually they'll get to you. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no, scientists. Oh, no. They're getting smart again. Scientists discover unknown prehistoric world on Earth. Hmm. Yeah. They're going to find out. Oh, never mind. It was just bones. The one thing I'm seeing right now that I don't like is uh, they're saying, and they're blaming on the Republicans, of course, they're Say it about raising the retirement age for Social Security help with the budget. Why don't you just stop paying all the illegals any and any freaking money in any way, shape, or form? If they need help, they need out of the freaking country. As an immigrant that comes here legally, I mean, you know, doing the paperwork, paying the fees, all the other crap, coming here, showing the medical records, showing that they're prepared, they know how to speak English somewhat. A lot better than the illegals and uh, and all that. Yeah. Either their sponsor or they, if they're doing it on their own, have to show proof that they can support themselves because they don't get benefits for anything. Yeah. So why if the people that are coming here legally that got the skills that we want in this country can't get these benefits, but every, you know, Tom, Dick, or Harry, Jose, Paco, Oh, I'll, 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 I'm a lazy, give me benefits, checks, gets free money. Cut them off. I'm really tired of these politicians saying, oh, well, that's what the American people want. No, I'll be the first to say, I'm tired of being charitable. Well, let me uh, clarify this because I know I've done this before. When it comes to charity, it should come from my wallet my choice when I send it. Not because the politician says I'm such a nice guy and I like to give to help people. And they're going to tell me who I'm going to give and how much I'm going to give and how long I'm going to give. That's bullshit. That's where we need to start taking down Congress. 
we need to take the, the power of the purse away from the House. And definitely away from the President, because he doesn't know what the hell he's buying besides ice cream. Because I don't mind helping when the help is need needed, but yeah. You're either going to give to the Ukrainians or you're going to give to the freaking illegals. And I say don't give to either. Give the American people. We're supposed to be built, building back better. I thought he, you know, Potato Head freaking said he's got to build back America better. Obviously, he lied. He's got to build, he's going to build uh, all our enemies in the world back better and make us freaking live in a sixth world country. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Stateofunion.com is reporting uh, Border Patrol Cypher takes matters into his own hands. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting for it to come up because, uh, yeah. Come on. I know that that's one story they're probably going to be taken down. Okay, this is what is being reported. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection sniper shot and killed an armed Mexican national from 275 yards away after witnessing him point a loaded handgun at a group of migrants near the border in San Diego. See, this is what I'm talking about. And they want to argue, oh, well, we can't freaking arrest illegals. Some of these people aren't coming over here. Because they want to. Some are being forced. Now, in this story, they say it's a handgun. It was a Mexican national. Even at 275 yards, you can't tell if he's a Mexican national. He could have been from Venezuela, Honduras, you know, the Guacamole land, you know. Because he's brown, he's going to automatically be Mexican. That's what the liberals are pushing, but you know what? Hey, better be safe than sorry. You see a weapon? Yeah. Like I said, you see a weapon and they're coming over? Shoot them. You know, that rules and engagements for snipers. Now, he didn't go to order to do it, but he took it on his own hands. Let's see if the story says they're going to prosecute him. They've been relieved of duty or anything else. Let's see. The CBE... P Border Patrol Tactics Unit was monitoring the area when the agent observed a group of migrants being confronted and threatened at gun, gunpoint. Uh, the precision march marksman took a single shot in the perpetrator as he racked his pistol and named it one migrant. Um while Border Patrol is actively monitoring this area where there is paved road winding through the mountains because of recent reports of armed robberies and assaults targeting groups of migrants across crossing into the U.S. You know, a small group of BORTAC agents was concealed approximately 70 yards north of the border along the ravine near the paved road Additional Barack agents, including a position marksman, was positioned on high ground approximately 275 yards away. Brought Overwatch. So let's see. Hold on a second. I hear somebody trying to pop in. Hey, look, it's Jim Cantori. Live in the middle of the, the hurricane and tornado. See the wind blowing really hard and the trees falling down? No. That's my point. I see your hair growing, though. You got my that mullet looking pretty good, buddy. Oh, wait, those hair, are your glasses. My hair is pretty and shaved. The head is shiny today. Look at that. Look at that shine. Look. It ain't going to snow in Georgia. It's going to get a little cool in about 
six or seven days for one night. Ain't no snow coming here. It's going to snow up north. Uh, that, hey, you took too long. That's old news. We're talking about the, the sniper shooting at the Border Patrol right now. You're going to see more of that. Sounds like a vigilante to me. Isn't that what they call that? No, he actually works for Border Patrol, and he actually saw a gun, and that's what I mentioned oh, before. Oh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't catch that. So he was a Border Patrol agent and pulled, yeah, pulled he, the hammer. He, yeah, he took the shot without uh, orders from anybody because he saw a weapon being racked and pointed at a migrant trying to cross. And uh, I wonder yeah. if he got fired. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get to. So uh, <laughs> hold on a minute, I'm still reading. Or, or put out a what do you call it? Uh, on leave without pay. Let's see, those four in a group that witnessed the uh, the thing going on. So they're probably going to leave all of them because that's going against what you know. We can't shoot nationals from another country, even if they are that threatening. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got to put us as police in the world. We're going to do what we need to do to freaking save lives. <laughs> They need to realize that, but these politicians don't understand that. Uh, things things are going to get bad enough, you're going to see a purge one night. Yeah, well, the person with the gun that got shot was demanding money. He was robbing the group of migrants, and they didn't have no money. He was going to shoot one of them. Then the Sounds migrants like heard a single shot that came from the snipers that they didn't know, of course, and they scattered and ran. Sounds like a... a uh, what do you call that? Sounds like maybe one of Coyote done gone wrong. Yeah. A 30 year old Mexican national was pronounced dead at the hospital. So, let's see. Uh, I figured by now you'd get some video so you could prove me wrong of them locking up refugees in Texas. Oh, believe me. The the lower appeals court, that's all we're waiting for. So they wanted to get involved again, and that's where, you know, they're going against what the freaking, I understand the appeals process, but that's where the wording from the Supreme Court really fucked everything up. They said that the Texas could freaking go ahead with the law, even during the debate, but the appeals court found that they override the Supreme Court. I understand the process of appeal, but when the Supreme Court puts in there that the law will stand until all the debate is over with in courts, what's that tell you right off the bat? The law no, will stand. The law You're of not going to freaking it. Yeah, that's the law of the land until they freaking fight it out in court. But obviously, the liberals don't think that they need to listen to uh, the Supreme Court. So. Prime example, Potato Head. And he said, you, Supreme Court said you're not going to do the uh, uh, the student loan thing. And he just goes ahead and does it. Nobody yep, does he anything. Did, he, did it, he did it more again this morning. Oh, he I did like 1.6 billion more. Nobody does nothing to him. No repercussions for their actions. Yep. Just ask Hunter how that works. I want to see when he's out of office and they're going to throw his ass in there like they're trying to do Trump for January 6th. Because uh, Biden and his freaking administration there are uh, basically building up for a civil war. Did One you moment, see? You can go ahead and talk. You can talk bad for me for a minute. I got a phone call from my gun shop. Hold on. But um, I watched some of the stuff with Bob Alinsky in the little hearing yesterday and it just. I'm pretty sure the guy's not lying. It's just sad that there's no action taken and they'll wait till they're out of office and then they might do something. But then, you know, Taterhead will be probably six foot under. He ain't gonna make it much longer. So I don't know. Not a call from the gun gun store. That is an urgent phone call. Mr. Boswell, I came up here because you hit my cash app for 125. 125, Mr. Boswell. So you hit that cash app, and I come on up. Got to get paid somehow. <laughs> yeah. I'm paying him in uh, day old donuts. Day old donuts. That's you damn, I ain't going to eat them anyway. I don't even eat a fresh donut when the light's on. Uh, what did you say you bought? A blackout? Yep. I've watched a bunch of videos. I'm not 
I, I, let me know. I mean, I've, I've read good and bad. I mean, I, I don't know about that one. Yeah. I got in trouble for spending quite a chunk on what I put up there, that 6.5 Creedmoor Tactical. Yeah. It was not cheap, but um, I like it. Yeah. I had one of those. I don't know if you ever seen one. Uh, made in Russia it was a Vepper. You ever seen one of those? Yep. Seven six two by fifty four. Yeah. I made a engine trade. About a five thousand dollar motor I trade to put in my Jeep. And I'm kind of I don't know iffy about it. I but I didn't shoot it that much, you know. And that I don't know. It was good gun quality made stuff, you know. Yep. I'm not going to knock the Russians. They've been making it come out of that mole plant. They've been making good weapons for a long time, like the Germans. Yep. I was watching, I was on Telegram this morning looking at all the stuff that's going on over there. Uh, man, France is just stirring the pot with Putin. And all the attacks, the refineries, I don't know how it hadn't popped off yet. Oh, it's going to. It's, it's what it looks like. To me, I wasn't around in World War II. I'm just going by history. What's going on, where they're setting up with all the stuff on the borders, Poland and some of the other countries, it looks exactly like what happened before World War II. Yeah. That's the game plan of Putin. He's he's going to attack the same way. Well, well like I, I mean, reported in both, their history. Both, sides, both sides are not right. I mean, I'm not saying he's right, but they're just – Neither side is right in this situation. Hey, Mr. Marshall, good morning. We had an agreement. What was it, the Minsk agreement? Yeah. Um, and we didn't uphold on that. And, you know, we said we wouldn't expand to Russia's NATO wouldn't expand, and they're right on the – I mean, I kind of get it both sides. Yeah. What the hell would the U.S. do if uh, – um, let's say Cuba again. You know, Cuba, Chinese, which is happening. The Chinese yeah. and Russians, you know, put – Tons of military hardware in Cuba. How would we react? Same damn well, way. No, well, they're they're doing it. They're trying it. And uh, Russia just sent oil and gas shipments to Cuba. They've been having problems trying to get oil and gas. The Chinese are really pumping it up in Africa. For what I, I mean, if what I'm reading is true. Yeah. So you read the part where they're the Africans were warning the U.S. to get out and all that. Yeah, other stuff yeah. Too. There's several things like, I've read over there. Can't remember the country. I mean, I don't, you know, I trust the Africans like I do the French, and I don't trust the French. If you have French <laughs> descendancy, I'm sorry, but I don't. Well, it's, you know. let's, let's be, I'm going to be clear for me on that. It's the French government. The people, it's just like Russian and Chinese people, Jewish people, just the common person. There's probably good people, but it's the damn governments between making money and, and well, you know, see, doing just, dirty I'll deeds. Just, I'll disagree with you on that part. It's not only the government, it's the younger generation in France that started about 15 years ago. Probably. Where the I younger ones are like, that. get the U.S. out of here. They've never done anything for us. Obviously, they never got taught history that we saved their ass. More than the more. older folks know that we saved their ass. But we got a lot of freaking of our soldiers buried in their country. You know? <laughs> well, they don't have to learn in the school. Just go to cemeteries and freaking they'll realize, hey, that's an American. Hey, there's not. Why are there thousand Americans died here? Because we saved I'm your ass. I'm kind of getting, and maybe you know, I can't remember the damn word where you just take care of your country. You don't go yep. any other country. Where well, there's a word for that, and I can't remember it to save my life. Maybe somebody in chat. Oh but wait, wait. You... you you know what that's called? What is it? That, that that's called being Israel. Israel's just taking care of their own. They've been doing it for years, and now the whole world's trying to tell Israel how to run their country. I mean, I get, yeah, I get that, but also I don't forget about the Gulf of Tonkin either. And again, that's the government, not the, not the Israeli people, the Jewish people. Yeah, it's it's it's. I don't know, man. It's it's all messed up. Yeah, but as my granddaddy always said, it'll work out in the wash, one way or the other, good or bad. Yeah. Well, the U.S. people need to realize, especially the liberals. That's why they're fighting they so much. Trying to get, they're trying to get another uh, election going in Israel to try to get Netanyahu out there after, what, six, seven freaking elections. They tried taking him out, and, yeah, he stayed in. 
if you don't know the politics of Israel, they got uh, more than two parties, and you got to have the majority of those parties way a lot more I than what the U.S. I bet both is. parties are just like our parties, corrupt as hell. Oh no, they got six, seven parties, and uh, they all want their things, and they got to wheel and deal in order to get 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 the majority numbers. So, well, the stuff that I've looked up on Netanyahu, he's not very clean himself. No, but no politician really no, is. That's I, the whole thing. But agree. in the long run, he's taking care of the people. He's taking care of his people. Let's put it that way. He doesn't give a crap about the Palestinians. And I'll tell you right now, I'm an unpopular person for it, but I don't give a crap about the Palestinians either. You know, I got the special ops mentality. Kill them all, let God sort them out. Because Israel is having a party is. celebrating freaking a religious holiday, and then they get a cat attacked over a thousand people killed raped and murdered Think my about biggest it. issue with that is is they're not going to cut the snake's head off the snake is iran if you want to stop all the bombs all the stuff because they're distributing to hamas and and hezbollah and the houthis and yet our presence ex-presidents have given iran billions of dollars well i know and, the secret i know the secret plan and the liberals don't like it uh-huh. You know what the plan is? I have no Take idea. Take the whole Gaza Strip, push all the Palestinians out because all that property belongs to Israel. Once Israel secures that, the U.S. is going to have a freaking military base right there. I quit so looking at the it. Mass attack the U.S. Anymore. there because <laughs> Israel's going to have, oh, here you go. Here's a slip. They attack you. Just open up. And then between the U.S. and Israel being there, they're going to freaking attack the crap out of freaking Iran. I think we Liberals ought to don't do. want it because then they don't have their power buddies in that region. We would be a lot better off if we kept our nose out of so many countries' business and just let them do their thing, whatever it is. Yeah. The Bible, the Bible says what's going to happen with Israel. So just why yeah. do you need to help them? Yeah. Let them let and them do their why, thing. And that's why you know, and you'll see it's going to leak out the plans that we're going to put military bases and we're going to use that freaking area because we need the oh, waterways. They want to put, a, they want to put another uh, canal from, I want to say, the Red Sea. Yeah. And that was going to house military bases. So, yeah, yeah. there's all kinds of alternative plans, but quit sticking our military all over other countries and elsewhere. And, well, why and not? Take care of ourselves. Uh, why not? It was confirmed. We have U.S. troops in Taiwan right now. Yeah. You know, and of course, we already know they're in Ukraine as advisors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. We don't have ground troops to fight, but we have advisors there showing them how to shoot and do the drones and stuff. You know, so, uh, yeah. Well, so, I figured I stopped for a minute. I'm running around taking back uh, cores from where I spent. Let's see. What are we doing? The front end of my truck cost me $1,485 to put brake pads, seals, and drums yeah. just on the front. So I had to go turn them cores in. I pulled over for a minute and figured yeah. I'd get up, but I need to get on down the damn road. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Did Shift Kicker send you the link? Or? Yeah, she sent me a link. Oh, okay. I thought she was lurking. Good morning, Shift Kicker. I ain't saw her say word, but yeah, I, I said she's lurking. Yeah. <laughs> she, she sent it to me. You know, and I'll say to everybody, players for her and her family, they're going through some things, if you know about her or not, but I'm not going to mention it. But uh, the prayers are deep. We appreciate for them. And then, of course, we have yes. Brad B. that's still in the hospital. Um, he doesn't like it advertised, but uh, I won't say what he's in the hospital for. But, uh, yeah, he, he definitely so needs he's still, he's still He's still in, in the hospital? Yeah, he's still in the hospital. Damn. He's doing better. Hey, good morning, Adam J. Well, and there's a lot of people in the communities that we mesh together that need prayers. We're getting a lot of good reports. And like I say, and like the Bible says, prayer is the ultimate weapon. Do it every day, even for a few minutes. You don't have to say it out loud. Just say it in your mind while you're driving down the road. Just make sure you're watching for uh, more to cyclists and people that aren't uh, paying attention to the pedestrian ones. Because we got a lot of issues with that right now, too. Well, like I said, home. I'm going to jump off here and boogie on down the road and get back towards the house. Everybody on here, have y'all have a good day. And what is today? Thursday? I got to work tonight. Yeah, the day here. after hump. The You'll day be on here tomorrow. Sore. I got to work. Yep. I'll definitely be here tomorrow. And I'm definitely going to do the stream after this one and make sure I have 8 o'clock instead of 9. 
Uh, you gonna do a lunchtime stream too today? Yep, and again tomorrow. So unless we got celebrations going on, I got to look at the list for the. What are you celebrating? Community. Your new your new family member? <laughs> no, there's the, some of the communities are celebrating their uh, like shifts going to do next month. They hit their goals for the subscribers. Oh, okay, I okay. Make sure it's that silver, I silver give, community. Yeah, so I want to make sure anybody that's doing celebrations would start tomorrow. That I'm not running into their time. So. But. Well, everybody have a good day. Trust we'll holler at you later. All right, brother. Enjoy the snow. Muckalux. Yeah. Yeah. He'll find out. And as like Mr. Boswell says, yep, yeah, he can't even work today because it's too cold. It's freezing again. Well, you do what uh, Shift Kicker's going to do. Just send that, all that stuff over to uh, Georgia. And Georgia should freaking uh, share the wealth of the cold. You know, you know, B Charm is like, oh, hell yeah, give it to Georgia. We don't need it down here no more. We've had our cold. And I know secretly B Charming heard AB say, ah, it's that cold down in Florida. Well, uh, you know, B Charm is like, who the hell he is? He's not a Floridian. I'm a Floridian, damn it. I'll tell you if it's cold or not. Not some Georgia boy that doesn't know how to wear a freaking. Shorts with cowboy boots and a half shirt. Oh, 21. Ooh, yeah, that is cold. You know, and I tell everybody I already saw this coming ahead of time. I said, you know, this could be a false spring. And now none of the weather channels, mainstream media talk about the false spring anymore. They're like, oh, yeah, springs are. Then why is all this cold is still coming down? Yeah. Yes, and then he was weakening and get ready for a rough ride of the waters of uh, the Pacific and the Atlantic. But you know what? Spring is not here yet, officially. The calendar may say it, but you know, hey. Well, we always send red heifers to Israel. That's the thing that, you know, we raise them here and we send them to them. It's been an ongoing thing for like 30 something, 40 something years. Yeah, and that's the thing. You got to read the soil, Mr. Boswell, but of course you know that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking up at everything. Yep, in a way, I agree with Mr. Boswell about blaming Jimmy Carter, but yeah, I think I blame Mr. Kissinger more than I do Jimmy Carter. Because, uh, you know, Jimmy Carter only did four years, but uh, he was a puppet all four years, too. Kissinger and his group were the ones pulling the strings on Jimmy Carter, so uh, they basically sat him down and says, we're running the show, you're doing what we tell you. And you have a blessed day there, Mr. Boswell. We'll see you next time. Hopefully it warms up enough you can uh, get outside and enjoy some of the weather and read the soil. Uh, let's see what other strange things I can uh, talk about that y'all can think I'm crazy, but uh, yeah. Uh, after the attacks on uh, Kiev by Russia yesterday, I think they launch 50 missiles, drones, and uh, all that other stuff at the city. That was unexpected. Uh, the city's defense minister, because each city has a defense minister in them, they uh, came together. They will not be calling up the 500,000, uh, you know, volunteer or military troops. There's no need. It was just a bombardment, and they're used to that already. And Newsweek is reporting that Russia TV alarmed by NATO allies Ukraine plans. It's not funny anymore. Yeah, NATO's not playing. And Putin's going to realize because he's not being told the truth because everybody's scared of Putin. Like everybody's scared of the North Korean little fat man that uh, 
He asks a question. He wants to hear what he wants to hear. He doesn't want to hear the truth. I really think the Russian people are going to revolt on him. But he doesn't want it. <laughs> After he launches that first nuke, I can almost guarantee those people are going to be freaking... <laughs> These surgeons are going to come out and they're going to rock the hell out of the freaking... We'll put it as, uh, what, the elite guard for Putin. I think a lot of them are going to freaking defect the moment, like the military is right now. Putin's got a lot more troubles. He won't admit to any of it. And his generals are not telling him because they don't want to get executed. You know. So, needless to say, la, la, la. Time is uh, not on his side. And if he's got an agent reporting this to Putin, well, you know, he'd tell him that, you know, he needs to put himself in his butt bunker, stick his head up way up there, and, uh, yeah, just hide out, because, uh, you know, time's not on your side, Mr. Putin. Either way you go, you're a big loser. You launch, your people are going after you, along with the retaliation, because, you know, the rest of the people, if you really get them away from being threatened by that dictatorship government, you know, they'll tell you they don't want war. Yeah, Putin may have freaking nukes, but they know he's not going to be able to stop all the nukes that come at him from all around the world. So then that their, their people know they're screwed. You know, just like we know we're screwed because all the other countries in the world have been preparing bunkers, food, and everything else. And our country just says, oh, just prepare for three days. Well, I don't listen to my freaking, uh, the federal agencies, like a lot of y'all don't listen to them either because, uh, yeah, you you get ready for three days. I'm getting ready a whole lot more. And guess what? I don't keep my shit here. So you can come raid me over here. You ain't going to find the shit here. I lost everything in a boating accident. Good luck on what lake I, it's sinking. Automatic. I ate some potato chips. I got freaking dementia. I forgot. Oh, there's a detectorist. Strikes gold with largest ever nugget found under English soil. So somebody was, uh, yeah, doing metal detecting in England, and they found the biggest, the world's biggest gold nugget. So there's still gold in the Nar Hills, and it doesn't have to be in the freaking mountains either. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I glanced over while talking to AB about the rest of that uh, Border Patrol thing. They didn't say anything about relieving anybody and all that. But if I know how the feds are, they relieved the whole team that was up there with a sniper. And uh, yeah. Even though the stories match and all that other stuff, they're going to relieve them of duty and they're going to slap somebody in the hand. Somebody will end up going to jail, even though he did the right thing. And uh, yeah. The guy was saving other lives, but they're going to say, oh, well, until he shot and killed somebody, you shouldn't have done anything. Okay, here's one in L.A. Times. This mega city is running out of water. What will 22 million people do when the taps run dry? Uh, yeah, better be stocking up on your bottled water there, L.A. Yeah, should have thought about that before freaking consider yourself a sanctuary city, huh? Didn't have enough for your citizens, and now you're, uh, now you're coming out with this stuff. <laughs> and reported, scientists identify a clue that could lead to inhabited planets. So, all these planets are finding they're a trillion miles away that we'll never reach in a lifetime. Now they think they got a clue. 
and they could tell which ones and which ones don't have uh, some kind of life on them. Does that really matter in our day and age? Let's save the life on this planet first. I'm not talking about climate change. Yep, and I agree with you, Mike B. Good to see you, by the way. Always spread your preps. Never keep them all your eggs in one basket. Amen. And I've always gotten this when I was doing the prepper thing. After I did the scrapper thing, I did the prepper thing. And now I'm doing the sober thing. And I don't call myself a prepper anymore. I am the prepared. Everything I have, I have enough to survive. I may be without some things. But those things I acquire in time. And it's not feasible enough to call myself a prepper anymore. Because I do have enough where I have everything located. And uh, yeah. Eventually, you upgrade. You can't be a prepper your whole life. You got to grow up. You got to advance up the chain. No, wait. Our society's not built that way. It's like, I ain't going to work for you. You give it to me. I want it free. Why aren't you giving it to me? Well, yeah. I don't know. I think we're really at a day and age that all 18 to 21 year olds should serve in the military. Mandatory National uh, Guard Reserve in their state. They'll get all the training. They'll get educational thing out of their state. But it'll be uh, the new National Guard. It'll be one that takes care of the state. They don't go off to war. They just do stuff, natural disasters, you know, border protection, all that other stuff. I don't really take the need to do that because all these 18 to 21-year-olds really need advancement on adult life. And speak up from experience, you grow up real quick when you're in the military, I'm telling you. You have to. You got no choice. Everything that mommy and daddy forgot to teach him, or mommy and daddy refused to freaking parent, will be taught to you. Now they'll get a paycheck. They'll do once a week, two weeks a year, just like everything else. But they don't deploy anywhere in a battle zone or anything else. They just do all the state stuff. Now some might even become firefighters. Well, natural disaster stuff. Some will end up becoming medics. Think about it. They get a trade. Mm. They don't have no excuse at that point. And then they refuse to do that. Then they don't get no public benefits for life. <laughs> we'll get rid of all these kids that don't want to work. They'll learn real quick. You want to eat? You better work. I know it's a rough way to do it, but uh, no, this is the point where you got to do tough love. I'm surprised the liberals haven't even thought about it. That sounds like all the other countries in the world. No, it doesn't really. It just sounds like uh, like Israel, South, you know, South Korea. They mandate their people to go do it. And it works. They hate it the whole time they're there because they're having to do something. Those are the ones that become successful and they're the actual responsible adults in their society afterwards. I'm not saying the ones that never did it because of their age and all that aren't responsible, but I don't know. Look at some of these people's kids. Uh, they forgot responsibility somewhere. But, you know, uh, never, when I raised my kids... I can't say I had a heavy hand. There was always the threat of the heavy hand there. Out of my twin boys, I only spanked one of them once. That's because he struck his grandmother when he was a toddler. And I spanked his his freaking diaper with my hand one time. And the sound of the, my hand hitting his diaper was a whole lot worse than anything he would have felt. And that shocked him to... Realize that, yeah, you got to play by the rules. A guy never hits a lady no matter what. Now, 
looking back, do I consider the grandmother a lady? No, but she is female. And, uh, yeah, he was throwing a tantrum, and he needed to learn. He's never struck a lady ever since. And his twin brother saw what was going on. He's like, oh, hell no. Dad gets mad. I've never had to use a belt or anything on my kids after that. Did I regret it? Yes, I felt bad for spanking him because he was a toddler. But, you know, he knew better. He was between three and four years old. He knew better. He knew the, the basic rules. You don't strike a woman. So, yeah. But nowadays, you know, all the freaking libertards and, oh, you need a city to freaking raise a kid. No, you don't. You need a parent to raise their kid, married or single. More praises to those that uh, their kids were out there protesting, rioting, all that. And the mamas came out there, started beating on their kids or teenagers and dragging them by the ear. Take it back inside, saying that they're embarrassing them and themselves. You know which mamas I'm talking about, the ones that freaking work two, three jobs, you know, in the hood. And I hear nobody complaining about those ladies. But you hear about a parent wanting to spank their kid for throwing a tantrum at Walmart. Oh, my God, everybody freaking go against that parent. No, nope. that's where a lot of parents, the ones that weren't controlling their kids and teaching them how to act in public and in society. That's where we have all these issues. And, of course, all those single moms, they have multiple dads for all their kids. And, you know, they don't really want to take care of their kids. They just want the money. Because they deserve it. Deserve it. You know. I gotta look at my thing because my internet's been going up and down, up and down. So, excuse me for a minute ago when I was on the phone, but they said I could pick up my new uh, family member today. It's already. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I had to do another background check, and I'm like, really? <coughs> but that's okay because this will get to the end of August, and um, I'll be able to go in there, and I don't have to get another background check because I already have it on file. So I'm good. I can go buy some more toys and all that. And uh, yeah, I don't have to worry about anything. That's the best part. I don't know why people complain. Well, you know, I'll gladly do a background check. I'm not a felon. I'm not a criminal. I'm not mentally unstable. You, know, you could call me crazy all you want, but you know, the way the world's doing stuff and it's not working, maybe it's time to do something crazy. Yeah. A lot of you all think that y'all are, uh, I don't know, mature in the matters. Yeah. Well, that's your opinion. Some of y'all, yeah. Your ideas didn't work. That's why we're in the situation we're in. It's time to do something different. Yeah, exactly. That's why I say ship all liberals and Democrats drop in the middle of freaking, uh, yeah, let's say, uh, yeah, in the middle of Iran. See how many of them go and start living at the palace with the the leaders there because they've been cahoots with them the whole freaking time. You won't be seeing a lot of them freaking get executed in the streets and shit. All right, chef kicker. I already planned that uh, maybe you'll be there, maybe you won't this afternoon. If you can't because you're tired, I know what's been going on. That's fine, darling. I love you. And um, if you can't make it, that's great. If you can't, that's fine. Take care of yourself and the family first. That's the priority. I love you. And, uh, yeah. I'm just counting the time. You know, we're about an hour and 15 minutes in. About 50 minutes longer than when I plan to. Usually I try to do the morning show for an hour. So, uh, as Shift Kicker would say, um, yeah, stay blessed, not stressed. Please pray for all the members out there in our YouTube communities. You know, there's a lot still going on recovering, uh, going through things in life, and they just need that emotional uh, presence of the Lord. And uh, I appreciate you coming out. Like, I apologize. I started late. 
I thought I put 9 o'clock, and I had put 8 o'clock, so I apologize for all you early morning ones. I purposely did that because I wasn't feeling completely great, and you can hear my voice going out now. So I'm going to drink me some warm tea and get it ready for that high noon show. And uh, dig up the stories I didn't report this morning on. So, uh, and we'll see who we have up there to, this afternoon. It just may be me, and that's okay. I'm used to talking to myself. And no, I don't have a mirror. Maybe I should do that, get a mirror so I keep becoming subconscious when I'm talking. And no, I don't listen to what I say. I just spurt it out. So I can understand why y'all think I'm crazy. But remember, tell your loved ones you love them, even if you're mad at them. Do something today to prepare. If you get that person, go get some pencils and sharpen them. That's preparing. You may never know. You might need one of those pencils in an emergency. Or you may have it in your pocket and need it for self-defense. And the John Wick comes out on you. You know? A pencil can be a weapon. Hell, I carry two of them with me all the time. In some places, you can't take a protective device with you in. You know? But what if you get attacked while you're in there? Well, I got my belt I could use as a weapon. I got my pencils. Those be the ones hurting mostly than anything else. But, you know, hey. You get my drift. And it can be used as a weapon to protect yourself. You just got to be able to have the ability to think on your feet. Always have a plan. Be prepared. But most of all, the most important one, always pray every day. <laughs> have a conversation with your God. You'll feel better after a cup of tea, cup of coffee. Read a little bit of the book or just sit there and have a conversation with them. Nobody's going to laugh at you that you're talking to yourself because we know you're not talking to yourself. Forget what the rest of the world thinks. There's people in this world that love you. We're proud of you. Even through your bad times, we're proud of you. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. You know, you're not a quitter. And you are a winner because you're still here. Don't believe me? Talk to me, Charmin. She's been around for a while. She'll tell you. And as much as stuff to be charming gives me i love her greatly because she keeps me in line she keeps me in check and she likes to fact check the crap out of me and i love that so uh yeah but y'all we wouldn't be here well we would but we'd be talking to ourselves like usual like i'm probably doing now but we will see you in about an hour 11 o'clock high noon <coughs> <coughs> and uh hopefully i Flushed all this pollen out of my sinuses so it stops running down my throat and killing my throat. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you. Have a break. Grab some lunch. And uh, I love y'all. And get ready for a good stream later on because I know somebody's going to do one today. I'm not saying it's me, but I know somebody's going to do a great stream today. Love y'all. Where's my music at? Because, you know, I can't. I, I don't realize that it's over until I play the video. Which one is it? Oh, there it is. All right. Love y'all. See you in an hour.